Welcome to the Home for Innovation. I don't know if you've been paying attention lately, but there's been more ads on TV from companies like Emerson and Chevron, and they're talking about supporting STEM education. Maybe I don't know if you've thought about why they're talking about supporting STEM education. The reason they're talking about it is they're having a hard time filling jobs. They're in a high-tech environment, and they're having problems finding high-tech people to come fill those jobs. So as we look in our 2012 political environment, we're in an election year, you know, what are the things we're thinking about? Well, there'll be a lot of discussion and propaganda about job creation and how this politician's done this and this one's done that. The reality of it is well, there's plenty of jobs out there right now. Why don't you have one? Two reasons I would suggest to you. As a business owner myself, there are two things that are, are in front of me. One, finding good people to fill the jobs I have. So the educational system in many ways has failed its students and has failed its, its final customer, which is the employer. But also tax and regulation. We are in a massive environment for regulation from our government right now. One out of every three dollars that this company makes gets sent to the government for either tax or regulation. If that continues, as a business leader, I'm very skeptical about making massive investments in my business because I feel more of this is coming. If you look, there's over a trillion dollars in corporate coffers right now in the United States. Why is that money sitting on the sidelines? Why isn't it being invested? It's because there's fear. There's fear of the unknown and there's fear of the known in some cases. So as we approach the election year and as you think about what's going on, job creation is not the issue. Skill creation is the issue. Policy and regulation is the issue. We've got to address these, and we need leaders who can do this reasonably, or you can expect more high unemployment as we move forward. We've got to get back to making stuff in this country, and we've got to make it easy to do it, because that's how we create real wealth. See you here next time on the Home for Innovation.